Oh man, even on the anchor there's plastic in the water. That's gross. We are ready for day two. Look, 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 flying fish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. We can fish it. Oh man, National Geographic. There's a, one of the biggest rivers in Bali that actually comes out here in Negara. So it would be very interesting to see how much the microplastics were able to collect. This test looks a lot more cleaner than the past two tests that we did uh, previously around Bali. There could be millions of microplastics, there could be thousands, we don't know. So once we get the results, we'll be able to really see how much plastic the fish are actually eating. Oh, oh. Oh. This was a little first swim in the ocean. It's very sunny today, but uh, just within a few minutes, you can already start to see some plastic floating up on the surface. We're so close to Java, but it'd be very interesting to figure out how much trash actually comes from Bali versus the rest of the world. We just met up with the local community, so we're going to do a beach sampling and cover 50 meters squared of beach and sort out exactly what type of trash is here today on this beach. If you did a normal beach cleanup, a lot of people go directly for the bigger pieces of plastic and put it down. But when you're doing beach sampling, because it's in such a concentrated area, you're literally getting down there up close to the sand, up close to the seaweed and all the natural things that wash up on shore, and literally looking for those tiny bits and pieces of plastic that you would otherwise miss. Right now, a key word is data because that's what's lacking in Indonesia and when data is lacking, you can't move forward with change because you don't know what you're working towards or what you're working from.